What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video guys, we're going to talk about shade protocol. Well, AKA silk or shade or what is it called? Oh guys, it's shade protocol. So we're going to go ahead and do a semi deep dive into this and talk about what's going on. We're going to get into, into the white paper, but we're also going to explain why shade and guys don't sleep on secret. Secret Network is also going to see value accrual with Shade. Of course, it's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Just kind of talking out loud and explaining a couple things to you guys. So what is Shade Protocol? Shade Protocol is an array of connected privacy preserving DeFi applicants. Forget that junk. It's basically the same thing as Terra Luna, but it's privacy focused. And what do I mean by that? Well, you're going to have synthetic stocks that are private you're going to have uh, like anchor protocol decentralized banking that is private amms that are private you get the point it's a lot of things that are going to bring value accrual to the shade token and it's going to be privacy oriented something to keep in mind we'll explain it in the white paper i'll try to keep this video short because i know you guys your time is valuable so there are a couple of options to mint silk. Silk is the stable coin, but again, TLDR, the biggest thing you guys need to know with this coin, I guess you can say silk and shade, is it's similar to Terra Luna. So in order to issue one silk, you need to burn $1 worth of shade. It's a dollar stable coin. However, there are other options as well, and I'll show you guys in the white paper so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So it's not just a one-all be-all. So it's actually a little bit different as well, and it brings value accrual to the ecosystem. And it brings value accrual also to Secret. So what's really cool right now, here are the options. You can actually deposit some Secret to mint silk, or you can deposit Shade to mint silk. So that's not the only option. You can also burn $1 worth of shade to mint $1 worth of silk and burn one silk to mint $1 worth of shade. So you have a couple of options. Um, it's not just like one Luna or $1 worth of Luna for one UST. You can actually add secret to this. Now, how is this in a little bit different? Well, this is how it differentiates itself. It actually has some collateral back backing it. Whereas Terra Luna, on the other hand, has no collateral whatsoever. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's just one of those things you need to understand what you're getting into. Just think about it like this. These stable coins need to fake it till they make it. The reason why I say that is when there is a massive sell order, it's going to cause the price to tank. When there's a massive buy order, it's going to cause the quote unquote stable coin price to boom. Why is that? Because it doesn't matter stable coin or not. You press the green button, it goes up. You press the red button, it goes down. So this is Shade's way of doing it. They have other options as well, so there is collateral behind it as well. Now, I really want to talk to you guys about the rules that they have. In fact, they're complete fire. Um, I actually like these. Actually, they're called protocol principles, but I need to read these to you. Um, obviously, privacy is human right. Privacy is the expectation, and that's what I'm liking. Expectation. That's what I want. Privacy is the goal, not so much. Privacy is the expectation, that's what I like. So, all applications added to Shade Protocol must adhere to at least one of the four following. What are these four things? Well, first, it needs to increase the scarcity of Shade, okay? Bullish. The application grows the Shade Treasury, synthesis, okay? Bullish. <laughs> the application increases the utility for Silk, okay? Bullish. The application increases the, the demand for silk. Okay, bullish. Why are the last two bullish for shade? Well, because to mint more silk, you have to use shade. It's not always the case. You can actually use secret as well in whatever the uh, DAO votes on. But either way, you can't go wrong. Well, actually, you can go wrong. Wait, you not financial advice, guys. You do what you want to do. In my opinion, it'll show value accrual to Shade and Secret because you're burning the coins. Also, what's interesting is they say there's no unique token per application. So like if a, another protocol launches, they cannot have a unique token. So that's pretty interesting. That's going to bring more value accrual to Shade. 
They already have a D app running as well. It's going to be similar to Mirror Protocol and it's basically synthetic stocks, same thing, but it's privacy oriented. Very interesting. So this is also what I like. Avoid fixed rate values with Shade Protocol tokenomics when possible. Something good. And also this. Do not sacrifice the end user experience in the name of tokenomics. Amen to that, brother. So going back to the Shade Protocol on the front page. Yes, you, stake, you can stake your Shade tokens, earning staking rewards and treasury rewards and arbitrage rewards, as well as stabilizer airdrops, so lots of junk but there is a 21 day unbonding period. You can also convert silk and shade with zero slippage. So you can actually take in arbitrage. So we'll see if the UI is a little bit different than Terra Luna. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to find where you can actually mint one Luna or burn one Luna to mint one UST um, with here. Hopefully they'll be a little more transparent about it. Let's see what happens. So again, guys, if you guys weren't really paying attention, what is Silk? Silk is your dollar stable coin. What is Shade? Shade is similar to Luna. It is the collateral coin. You can also use Seagirt as well, but just wanted to give you guys the TLDR. Now, what are the risks of this? Well, there is a chance that this happens. This is a risk that is in the protocol, but they do have some security measures in place to prevent this. And it actually, I'll explain the example so you guys can understand. The first example is say I'm trying to buy something and I'm like, okay, say I'm trying to make a bunch of money. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to dump the price of shade. That way I can go and burn some secret or even some, I don't know, whatever tokens that get voted in, say it's like Monero or whatever, and I burn those and I mint a bunch of shade. Well, theoretically, I just got shade at a super low, low price. But why is this a drawback? Well, typically what happens when someone dumps, it, causes, it usually causes more people to dump. So you're actually picking up bags and maybe you're catching a falling knife. Maybe it could work, maybe it doesn't. But theoretically, in the long run, if they do that and it does recover, well then, yeah, they made it good, but then the other holders who were, thought were like this, oh, it's back to normal. So it, it's one of those things like, is it really a risk? Yes, it is a risk if it doesn't recover. And now if the whale is jumping in, he's taking on that risk too. So it's like one of those things like, do you really want to take over all the mining power on Bitcoin? And if you do so and you do a double spin, what would happen to like the value of Bitcoin? It's that type of concept you want to keep in mind. And here's what they do to stop this. They actually have a burn based entry with a cap. So this does stop the arbitrage like you just push it down, buy in, etc. And it also builds the adoption of silk. When I say builds the adoption, remember guys, these stable coins, they need to fake it till they make it. This is a quote unquote, I guess you could call it the incubation phase. So it's still trying to build itself because it's going to be a newer protocol. So time will tell, we'll see what happens. But either way, remember guys, when you're investing in anything, everything you invest in, just consider it lost. And of course, um, guys, and just don't invest more than you're willing to lose because there are risks to everything. Even, even when it looks like all hunky dory and happy, there is a chance that it just doesn't make it. So here's what's really interesting. They're going to have a stake dividend. So this is to benefit from the synthesis balance sheet. So this is going to be something that is like, say for example, you got a million dollars worth of die in there. They're going to deposit in on other DeFi protocols and that yield that's being earned, it's going to be paid out to any of the people staking their shade tokens not just staking, but staking in the dividend pool. And there is a 90 day unbonding period to this. Keep that in mind, guys. Again, it's 90 days. So if you don't have a long term outlook on this, well, it's probably not an option for you, but it pays you dividends. So it's pretty interesting to see how that's going to work. And it's going to be earning dividends on the money that's in the quote unquote treasury. Now, what's also going to be interesting is the shade synthetics. 
So these are privacy preserving synthetic assets. So just like on mirror protocol where you can buy Tesla or like Amazon or Alibaba, you can buy it in a private way. So people don't know exactly what you're buying or well, they do know you're buying this, but they don't know how much. I mean, I could just be buying 0.000001 and it's like, hmm, well, do I really own a big bag? Eh, probably not. Yeah, no, I do. Wait. I don't know. You can't tell. That's why I like these type of protocols. Anyways, guys, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just a quick overview of shade, shade and silk. Uh, make sure you guys take a look into it. See what's up. Um, again, I also forgot to mention this. This is how silk keeps its price. Um, I probably did mention it, but I probably didn't. But it's okay to go over it again. Silk is trying to be pegged to one dollar, and people can arbitrage by doing this. They can mint silk. Say for example, it's trading at a dollar and two cents on, I don't know, whatever random exchange by doing this, minting it for a dollar, selling it for a dollar and two cents and repeating the process. Cause remember you can mint one silk for $1 worth of shade and the opposite is true. So if you can buy it for, our, let's say, we'll, we'll just call it one penny on the open market. You can mint some shade, $1 worth of shade, for quote unquote, the one penny. So you just profited 99 cents. And then you can arbitrage by taking that silk you just bought, buy more, repeat the process, blah, 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 blah. But you guys get the point. That's how it works, works with arbitrage. As always guys, let's go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Private sector 15 versus 12. Mockers resent correction, so they avoid the wise. What does this mean? If you're mocking someone or making fun of them, and someone tells you like, bro, you really shouldn't be doing that. And you're like, nah, bro, you're a loser. Oh, well, that's, that's what it means. So they avoid the wise. So if you're seeing someone doing that, are they the wise one? Or is the other person the wise one? I don't know. Time will tell. We'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't sleep on secret. Don't sleep on shade. Of course, not financial advice. Not a financial advisor. See ya in the next one. Oh, snap. You guys are still here? Anyways, guys, if you guys want to join the Discord, there's a link in the description below. It is the Patreon link, and we also have a Telegram chat. The Telegram chat is free, so jump on in, guys. Uh, there's a lot of giga chats in both the Discord and the Telegram. And, well, they like to talk crypto just like you. And what should you expect in the Discord? Well, it's basically what I'm doing in different farms, what I'm doing in DeFi, different altcoins I'm looking at. I mean... There's some really smart people in there, way smarter than me. Not really saying much, but something to keep in mind. Hope to see you guys in there. Y'all guys can also catch me on tweeters. Uh, it's at rent a home fast, like literally at rent a home fast.